Yeah, anyways, we wanted to talk a little bit um, about, you know, this crazy September that we are experiencing and that, you know, a lot of people are talking about. Uh, there are some dates uh, just a little bit later in the month. And uh, as we said today, we have, there's a lot going on this month. We have, you know, astrologically, uh, Mars and Venus um, together today and uh, I'm sure you heard, you know, we, What's supposed to happen, you know, some people say September 28th, September 15th, September this and that. Uh, definitely crazy energies, portals opening. What is your take on the time line right now that we're, that we're in? Well, the first thing is I'm waiting for October 1st so I can laugh at all of these people <laughs> first because that's what I do. You know, I, I kind of wait after 2012 because I told them that they were setting themselves up for failure once again. And that this whole idea that the whole thing was going to crack open based on all the data that I gathered wasn't actually going to occur that way. But if, if there was some internal stuff going on that should not be omitted, and it's the same scenario again. So during the 2012 period, it was a very clear, it was very easy to line up your chakra center because it, the energies were present. It, they were amplified. And it was because we were amplifying it, though. You know, it's like... Sometimes mm -hmm. you, you don't know which one is doing it. Like you say, okay, is this being controlled from the stars or is this being controlled from, from people's consciousness? Both. They both work simultaneously. You can't, it's like the chicken and the egg thing. You can't actually say which one is there and because the egg was there, uh, the egg was in incubation. So the chicken wouldn't even have been aware of it anyway because the chicken comes later. So it's the same thing that what we're dealing with with this timeline. It's like there's one thing going on externally and this is why i always take the cue you can always take the cue from canaan which is cnn because if you understand the whole history they've basically just taken the name of these original people so that they can try to originate things but they always do it opposite because they're inverted and they've already proved that they're inverted by their symbolism so when the inverted one goes out screaming that terribleness is going to happen like, like a screeching buzzard over the land this means that something massive is on the wind and that has a lot to do with a portal but not to somewhere like as far as another planet or a stargate or something opening up and then something coming out of it because that's the whole external thing what it is is a direct connection to higher self a higher self there's always a higher self there's a higher self you can keep anchoring yourself on greater consciousnesses of yourself greater uh, versions of yourself and what port when portals are open you just have more access to that so that way you can rebirth yourself because let's face it the portal is the vagina I mean it's the symbolicness of that life comes out of it so it's like this some some of this stuff can get so Hollywood eyes like I mean, even some of the most conscious people they just make it Hollywood these days but all this is nature so nature's portal is the divine feminine and so if a portal's opening then that means that a new life can come out of it. And because everything is geocentric, the only life coming out would be you. So that's what kind of eliminates all of the foolishness because we're only talking about you. We're not trying to factor in so many different integers that you have no control of. And you will only be speculating and guessing at best if you're trying to interpret what something else is doing because you're not inside of it. You can do that when you get into more, uh, uh, more grander stages of all this self, and then you can start becoming everything so you can really feel what it feels, then you can do it. But as at this stage, the only thing that's really important is the geocentric concept, concept and the geocentric state of consciousness, looking at everything around it, and then determining what's going on. So the portal opens up to self, it's clear. Now this self, though, is... Let's say it's ancient, like this version of self actually is a very powerful version. It's gone back all the way to at least extending before the Sumerian period. Before the builders of whoever built those pyramids, this is kind of the, the portal that is opening. It's like to that space and time. So rather than people getting lost at, you know, trying to see the dogmatic tradition within a specific culture, they should more of tap into what were they doing during that time and what were they living out as. And when they're able to do that, then they'll gain a lot of themselves because that in that particular time and space, 
the potency of the actions that were going on then were, were the very foundations to what built who we are now. And then once we have that, then we complete a big part of our journey. You get where I'm coming from? So it's like when we do the, the, whole, the old Ouroboros, meaning we completely make the circle or the circuit we, and we tie the knot, that end part is where we began. And it's only until the end meets the beginning. That's the divine marriage. When the man meets the woman, it's because they're on two opposite spectrums, but they're now coming together. This means that one from one end of the timeline is now meeting the other one from the other end of the timeline, and they come together. Now, it's a socket, so it has to fit into each other. That seems like sexual, but it is. So circuits <laughs> must connect, but that's synonymous with time closing. And, you know, so this is, the, this is what's happening. And it's so much easier to see it when you, when you really think of it that way. And so, of course, the ones running the interference <laughs> are, you know, it's just static. It's static waves. It's just vibrations and frequencies. It's just talking. They're saying all oh, this is going to happen. There are some actions because, of course, energy, when energy festers, it's going to carry out some kind of activities and actions. But that has nothing to do with a geocentric being. That has more to do with one who begins to choose to inherit that energy. Because think about it, if it's still a choice, you choose whether you want to have positive or negative. And what's most important was that thing that I put up on my Facebook just recently about dharma and karma, basically, that everyone in the major spiritual traditions, let's say, non-dogmatic, know. If you, you can build up dharma, and not know how to tap into it. Like people who do nice things all the time, they give money to homeless people, but they still kind of, you know, they never, you know, it never happens for them. They're just really good people. But the Dharma, they don't know how to access it, so they don't have a connection. They don't have the portal to that higher self, which is what the Dharma is, okay? So what this is about then, this is about tapping into that. And the reason why we know that there's so much of it is because how the physical worlds are built and this is everything in physics and chemistry will tell you this every action there's a reaction most of all of this if not all of it is in some kind of equal it's in equal measure that's why we have a night and a daytime so this means that when there's a lot of negativity going on positivity is actually storing up somewhere especially if people don't access it if they don't choose to access it because you know, everything that's on TV. And, and that's why I say that all, the, all these people did is they just infested the spiritual networks now with this crap. They literally almost made people spiritual to turn against them with these kind of messages. And I've seen it come from so many different factions, uh, Hathors and all these different people who once actually didn't have any kind of negative message, just were doing that so they can accumulate hundreds of thousands of people and then they could pour the sky off pour the sky down on them and tell them opposite to what they told them in the beginning. This message is always going to remain the same. Like, <laughs> you can't die. So what are you really worried about anyway? I don't, and, if you, and if you truly have trust, not trust in Jesus, trust in yourself. If the whole thing comes apart and it's not your time, you'll be standing on the only little piece that doesn't come apart. And then at that point, you'll finally realize that you're in control of it all. And hmm. whether a person wants to take that power, see, because that's the power of a God. That's the power of a supreme being, you see? So this is like, you see something glowing there, but afraid to touch it. A lot of people are afraid to take the wheel and accept that it is what it is with, with whatever they want it to be. Because that takes going up the ladder, though. It's, you, it's not what you want when you want it to be on the base pillar. <laughs> it's, you see what I mean? It's like it's too much, you're, everything's on top of you. So it's a process. So that's also why we, we can't confuse talking with the actual procedure. But it is very encouraging to know that the reward of work, working your way up that ladder, up that mountain, is the same reward if you grind out on the physical level every day in the gym, let's say. You're gonna get stronger, you're gonna breathe better, you're gonna feel better, your body's gonna feel better. So there's rewards 
for the pain. <laughs> so the same thing, you climb the mountain, the rewards is you control it all. It's because your frequency is more dominant. So none of the stuff that would be happening wrong, I mean, it, it could be bombs dropping everywhere and it's just not going to hit, you're not even going to be close to it. And remember, Earth is a big place. There's places that haven't even seen men touching footprints on them yet. So if that's where you end up being because your frequency just keeps guiding you, your frequency is your shepherd. You won't wander from those cycles that you've already made that have equaled all of what you've learned and all of what you know. You see mm -hmm. what I mean? That's why when we go to sleep, some of the things that you do in your sleep, especially when you're having those fantastic dreams, it's like you're a pro. You don't need to actually think about how to do it. And this is because this is all in your, all in your path. And so you trust your path. See, that's why it's, it's like this is about trusting you. And the more trust that you have in you, then you start realizing what's going on. And then you realize that it's not so much as trusting people individually. It's trusting that everything is the same thing. And sometimes you have to, you keep all these things in a nucleus. It doesn't mean you have to, you know, sh shout it on the rooftops. It's like, you know, sometimes it's like a precious gem. Someone will try to take it away from you. Somebody will try to take away from you the belief that you're in control of everything. And they're very good at it. And remember, we are also trapped in perfection. This means that there's no notion right now that we're actually the supreme beings, but that's the truth. So how do you even get that one going on, <laughs> right? That's because the, it's a perfect lie in a tense. It's all designed to make you believe that it is separated, but it's actually together. And then those who begin to realize that graduate from the whole purpose of this, because that, that would narrow everything down to only one purpose, really. Come out of division. Only way you can get out of divided worlds is to come out of division. If you can be here 500,000 years, they don't care. The universe doesn't care. Cosmos doesn't care. You got to be the one that cares. It's geocentric. You'll always be playing a role in the tarot, so thus you have use. You have purpose. You're a star. <laughs> you see? But it's about did you take that or did you see what else is available? And that's what also, as now human beings, we're kind of new at the experience. But just because someone offers something doesn't mean that that's all that's available. That's why I shoot high. I shoot beyond words now. And we can't even talk about what I'm talking about that we're going to get into. I have another level that we can go into it and I can show it to you. You need to use your imagination and not be afraid. But that's, the, that's another level that I'd rather communicate on. But again, even when you pull out of that, you'll see how childish and neophyte that is. And then you move into an even grander space. This is the trips. These are, these are, the, re these are the rewards. So I, that's why I'm pure optimist. That to me, the cup is always half full because there's no limits to where it can really go. But the last thing I'm going to do is jam myself down into a vortex. And that would be by inheriting all these concepts that the portal to my higher self is actually something negative. And this could be seen as when the person's afraid of who's in the mirror eventually all is self, all will have to be joined and come back to me. These are the mantras. Eventually everything will join and have to come back to me. You're the only one. You're geocentric to yourself. When you collapse all the timelines and all of the, the, the spaces and the gaps and the schisms, then you will be free because those are the walls that you're putting up to keep yourself from transcending time because all of that stuff goes on in time. It's about the monkey mind. You know, that's really a part of our consciousness that, you know, is, it, it, it grabs. They say the monkey mind will grab the brain and it will hold the brain to keep it from going beyond what it would be a mammalian frequency. So when we see all these like the reptilian, the mammalians, the aquatic, those are all frequencies. Those are spectrums. So the mammalian frequency is grounded. You see, so it, it mainly remains on the ground. So it has that component. That's why the mother and this the cow goddess, right? And that's the mother and she's the one with the milk, but she's grounded. So that's a specific frequency, rather useful. We're not trying to make someone the enemy here. Like I was always, oh, it's the horn god. You know, it's just you, you're afraid of it before you understand it. But that's the natural process. So the more we get comfortable with that newness, you know, this equals, uh, it equals expansion for us. It equals expansion for me, equals expansion for you. 
And then the more we do it, the better we get at ex expressing it, explaining it, etc. That's when we get this change. So remember, we have an archive. You do just archive and archive information that will be quite tantalizing in the next few years because people finally understand it. <laughs> and it'll be like something new for them because it will be new. And so what we're doing, though, is this is none of this is fake. So the road in the city that needs to be built, we're building it now. Because just like all the stuff keeps moving, like the technology and all that, there will come a day where we'll be introduced to ether and everything will change. We'll see the energetic potential. We'll have things that show us the energetic potential within each individual. We will work to raise the energetic potential and balance the energetic potential to cure ailments and disease because that's what causes ailments and disease. And we're on the brink now. Like I've crossed over. We're just making applicable things that people can use in their everyday life. But make no mistake, there's also other factions from different places all having this simultaneous idea that even, even their greed will be their end. What do they mean by that? That means that even the greediness of wanting to try to create something new to be the first to monetize off of it will become the same hole that everyone ends up going through. If one of these big companies decide that dealing with things and matters of the soul is more valuable than electronics. You see, so it's almost like when you're dealing with giants, giants are dumb. So you can suggest it to them and it'll be like it's their idea and they will trip themselves up.